Welcome back to 3 News at 5. One of the biggest medical stories of 2023 was the surge in prescription medication for weight loss. Type 2 diabetes drugs were already being used off-label for weight loss, but with the FDA's approval to use these medications to treat obesity, the demand, as you can imagine, has skyrocketed. Yeah, and it's brought on a whole new conversation as it relates to cost and access. So senior health correspondent Monica Robbins is explaining all of this to us. Two big studies came out of Case Western Reserve University on the wildly popular weight loss drugs containing semaglutide. The first found the drugs may reduce the risk of colorectal cancer in both people with diabetes and obesity. The second found semaglutide that's in Wigovi and Ozempic had a significantly lower risk of causing suicidal thoughts. This follows a Cleveland Clinic study from November that found semaglutide cut the risk of severe heart problems. But a lot more research is needed on all of these fronts, and the FDA is looking into individual complaints of adverse side effects, including suicidal thoughts, hair loss, and airway obstruction. Demand for these medications that average about $1,000 a month surged more than 4,000% in the last couple of years. Now, Eli Lilly, the maker of ZepBound and Manjaro, is making it easier for people to get access. Last week, they launched a website where patients can find a doctor, in person or via telehealth, who can, if appropriate, prescribe them and then ship directly to the patient. At the same time, Lilly published an open letter saying in part, its drugs are, quote, indicated for the treatment of serious diseases. They are not approved for and should not be used for cosmetic weight loss. Direct access isn't a new idea. Weight Watchers acquired a telehealth company so customers can more easily get prescriptions. Weight loss centers across the country are offering it. And Novo Nordisk also offers savings programs. And the demand isn't lost on scammers who are also trying to cash in. The Better Business Bureau warning of websites claiming to sell these drugs at lower prices without a prescription. Don't fall for it. With a third of the country fighting obesity, it's no wonder people are desperate. But not everyone can get access because most insurance companies, as well as Medicare and Medicaid, don't cover weight loss medications, especially those with such a hefty price tag. Now, Lily ZepBound was the latest approved for weight loss this past November. ZepBound and Wagovi are the only two of this class of drugs FDA approved for weight loss, the others mainly being used off label. But they won't be the last. There are about 70 new obesity treatments in Whoa. development, and wow. six are awaiting regulatory review. And this year, we can expect to see more companies seeking approval as that demand continues to skyrocket. And that demand being built by, you, know, you see all these celebrities like Oprah and Lizzo and Kelly Clarkson suddenly slimming down. They're not crediting, you know, specific weight loss drug, but I mean, a thousand bucks a month. Yeah. I mean, are these prices going to come down? You know, that's what we'd hope. Um, we're going to have to wait and see. That will have to happen, though, if they expect insurance to cover it. Laws will also have to change for Medicare to be able to cover mm -hmm. it, although some Medicare supplements may add it. But I wouldn't expect to see the price dropping anytime soon. That may change in years when patents expire right. and generics sure. hit the market. Sure. But, you know, many of these companies are soon going to be offering pill versions, too, okay. instead of the shot. So maybe that might lower prices, but they're making too much money right now. The fact that there are 70 in development tells you the amount of money that is in that space yeah. and the race to get the approval to start making those really billions of dollars. Yeah. Stunning. Monica, thank you. Sure. Thanks, Mom.